You may have seen headlines in recent days claiming that all South Koreans are set to become a year or two younger. And officially speaking, that's true. Here's why. Ask a Korean how old they are and they're likely to tell you an age that's a year or even two years older than you'd expect looking at their birthday. But South Korea's National Assembly last Thursday passed a set of bills, meaning that from June 2023, the country will use the international age counting system for all official purposes. This follows a presidential campaign pledge to unify the country's age system, as there's been criticism that the current situation can cause confusion in providing key public services, for instance. There have actually been three systems in use here. In addition to international age, Korean age starts at one. But it's not as simple as just adding a year to your international age. Korean age moves up at the start of every new year. And let's say a baby's born this month, December. They'd be considered one immediately, and then already two next month with the new year. And there's another calendar age system too, which has been used for buying age-restricted items like alcohol, as well as for military conscription. This has been more like a hybrid, starting at zero like international age, but still moving up every new year, which means every year group comes of age at the same time, regardless of birthday. Clearly, all this is going to require a bit of a cultural shift. Some couples have even planned a preferable month for childbirth for Korean age purposes. And even if all official documents recognize international age, it might take a while before people think of themselves in terms of international age. Although the government will be promoting this, it may depend on what's most convenient. For example, children are often quite happy to elevate their age by a year or two. But for those over a certain age, the international system will probably do just fine.